today's abandoned video, we visit an ornate abandoned mansion located in the rural landscape of Scotland. The beautiful property has been standing for over 150 years, offering intricate old architecture, functioning power and water, and many secrets we come across whilst within its structure. Join us as we showcase one of the grandest homes we have ever seen. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. In our last episode, we asked what changes would you like to see going into 2022? We had many responses, but have selected this one from Josu, who suggested we do some collaborations with some other Urbex channels. This is something we wanted to do for a long time and have a small list of people that we would love to meet up with. Maybe 2022 will be the year where you see us team up with content creators we enjoy watching. This week we are asking, do you think we are missing architecture-focused houses, instead opting for modern and efficient structures? Let us know what you think to possibly feature in our next upload. In an isolated setting, this stunning 10-bedroom manor house resides, looking over rivers and valleys that are an asset to the property. After a long drive, we had hiked our way towards the decorated building. Originally built as a cottage in the mid-1800s, the villa would gain more and more additions at several stages throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. It's likely that the Italianate design occupying the frontage of the complex came at a later date, as well as some of the ornate elements added to its interior. Despite the confusing history regarding the construction of the home, one thing that is clear is why this location was chosen for its position. The surrounding countryside owned by the residents of the structure was ideal, and it was this that we were navigating in order to get in touching distance with the mansion. You might be wondering why we aren't just walking right up to the premises. An abandoned house in as good a condition as this one only happens with some security measures. The building has cameras all around its exterior, so we had to follow a strict route to manoeuvre around them. Smooth, smooth. After a short while, we had successfully accessed the building and were ready to see if the inside matched the impressive detail of the front. Power's on. Oh, you can see some stained glass already here. Oh, the ironwork on this staircase. Wow. Wow. ridiculous. Look at the woodwork and the shadow. Oh my. I guess the power will work in here as well. Oh yep. my god, this is some place. This is so cool. It was a perfect start to the exploration. Wandering upstairs, we came across a brilliant space that was formerly the library, one of the few rooms that was totally original in the manor, dating all the way back to the 1800s. As a bonus, the chandeliers hanging down from the arched wooden beams of the ceiling turned on, which would turn out to be a common theme to the whole building. However, there was one more secret we were about to discover here. We only just noticed this. Might be quite hard to open whilst filming, but in this main room is a secret door with a safe behind it. Where the resident would keep all their prized possessions. 
Anything too expensive to be left, left laying around. It's quite cool. I've never seen something like this before. They must have genuinely kept like proper expensive stuff in there. The hidden safe was just one example of the wealth of inhabitants that had lived in the structure over the last century. Who knows what might have been stored in its tiled room in that duration. Also in the main corridor of the house lied a trio of doors with delightful stained glass engravings, topped with a spherical dome skylight. It became apparent that the multiple architects that had worked on the complex had equally shared a love for stained glass, with there being an abundance of it everywhere in the structure. Man, look at this fireplace. That is carved wood. And this stone as well, all the details leading up to this orange ceiling. This might be the grandest house we've ever done. Although we aren't completely sure, we believe this incredible room was another forerunner in the original format of the manor. Researching into the property, it was supposed to have a small chapel to its rear, and this is the only space we found that meets the description. I can't seem to look past how beautiful and time consuming the wooden carvings are. All the chandeliers come on in here as well. Wow. LED panels that light up the ceiling. Nice touch. Whilst we appreciated the beauty of more stained glass at either end of this arched corridor, we also had begun to notice signs of decay in some of the rooms. Chipping paint in minor circumstances indicated the potential state the building could fall into without residents. Kitchen area. This is quite immaculate. As you can tell, this probably doesn't even look abandoned. The cooker's on. Oh, this looks like a little Wi-Fi box. Yep, it is. Look at that. I'm gonna guess the water runs just from what I've just seen. Yep. It does. It's another really nice room. Different architecture again. This one follows the wooden beams that the main hall does. There's a small space as well. Oh my god. That is a really cool fireplace. And totally opposite to all the others in this place. They didn't hold back with the stained glass at all. Almost every room has some sort of stained glass. One interesting feature of the building is that many of the non-original fixtures such as fireplaces or stained glass were transported from other Scottish abandonments in the early 1900s whose owners sold them by auction to protect them from demolition. After taking a look at the most fascinating remains of architectural integrity the mansion had to offer, we moved on to its back rooms that were void of too much detail. It's starting to look a bit more decayed. Oh yeah, the ceiling's completely gone here. And there's another kitchen through here. Yeah, even more decay in this room. That's so weird. This is literally on the opposite side of the really clean main entrance. 
but this one looks like this. Even the power doesn't work in this bit. The premises is mostly situated on one floor, with little space upstairs due to its old fashioned design. Therefore, once finished on its lower level, we systematically headed up the various staircases to see what was left. Heading up the, towards the style staircase. Look at this room. Another one with amazing ornate architecture. Every room is completely different. Some are quite plain, which you'd expect. And then others have just got hidden details and some that are more extravagant. Even this fireplace here is really nice. The views down there into the valley where there's a river twisting its way between the trees must have been amazing to walk up to. I feel like all of this forest is their land as well. And look at the tiling in there. It's immaculate again. Wow. A lot more spacious than I would have thought. It's very dated there. Really nice wooden floor. Matches with the banister. There's another stunning bathroom in there. But aside from that, most of these really grand mansions with the best architecture are totally empty. And the rooms upstairs are nowhere near as interesting as the ones downstairs. Going down here now. Ah, oh, that makes sense. A little gym. I feel like it would have more equipment and it could be accessed outside too, which is pretty cool. Only one machine remains. These curtains look quite interesting. Oh, this is nice. Private cinema. Wow, this is the dream. <laughs> you get eight guests in here. And it's definitely sound protected. Like It's gone very quiet since I stepped inside. We had completed the exploration of the historical structure and it was time to head out, leaving it just as we found it. It had been a true insight into the privilege you can purchase with a certain amount of wealth. As for the reason the building is neglected, we aren't too confident. We think that its highlights such as the chapel, arched corridor and library are being catered to occasionally, because at the time of filming the mansion was on the market, so it was probably kept suitable for visits from possible buyers. It has passed through many owners over its lengthy period of activity, and we do think that it is just in a state of temporary abandonment. Since it has been bought and isn't available anymore, we doubt it will be long until it will be inhabited once again. The decaying sections are nothing but a reminder that a dated complex needs care and attention, or it can swiftly progress into disrepair right before your eyes. Thankfully the grand detail the architecture showcases will more than likely be saved in the coming years. We 
hope you enjoyed our coverage of the stunning residential building. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to never miss a future upload. Here are some of our photographs we captured at the abandoned mansion. If you like the look of them, you can visit our Instagram page below, where we share images from our explores months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. We have some massive announcements coming soon, and we look forward to sharing them with you. See you next time.